condoms were used in tests to find a suitable material to cover the area below the movable lower lip of the early puppets. In the end, though, good quality fine leather provided the solution. What? The lower lips? Yes, yeah, so... <laughs> Super marination puppets, the solenoid in the uh, in the head moved the lower lip up and down, and that was the, given the illusion of speaking, right? But a you, a you, solenoid being what? An electromagnet. Oh, so okay. Open and close the mouth. Yeah. Uh, but it was only the lower lip that was moving. Yeah. And so you needed something on a fiberglass head that would provide the flexibility to allow the lower lip to move. And so, you know, you have to go searching for the right material. And somebody right. obviously thought, well, you know, we want a thin and flexible material. Uh, so uh, let's try latex from condoms. Okay. And this... they tried it, tried it, but then it decided to go with fine leather instead. How interesting. Well, that is fascinating, isn't it? I love the inventive quality to all this. It's that we've got a problem. How can we solve it? Let's think outside the box. Let's, you know, <laughs> expand our horizons and really... Absolutely. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, they're, they're creating their own problems by trying to advance things technically. Yes. And then solving them in really creative ways. Yes, exactly. And that's one of the hallmarks of, of the Super Mario Nation era and beyond, really. You kind of you get that same inventiveness, not just in the puppet workshop, but across to special effects with uh, Derek Meddings and co. And then through to Brian Johnson doing these elaborate uh, map paintings and, and windowed shots to get, for example, eagle pilots inside the eagle. I mean, that was, uh-huh. a, yeah, uh, right. that was an incredibly advanced technique. Uh, so it was happening all over the shop on Anderson Productions, and I think probably you could happily say that it's thanks to that creative spirit and that inventive nature of all the people on, the, on there that, that film and TV special effects are where they are today. 